Hey guys, Adam up here. Today we're checking out the 2022 heated gloves from Sabbath Heat. Inside the box you're going to receive the gloves themselves, a mesh bag, a user's guide, a power cord, and two lithium batteries. So let's turn these things on and see what they can do. Inside the glove there's going to be this little pocket with a power cord in here. Take your battery, put it in there, stuff it into the pocket. There's a zipper here, close that up, and you're good to go. I have pretty big hands and I usually wear an extra large for gloves. I read that these run a little small, so I got the double XL and they fit perfect. To power them on, there's a little button here. If you just hold that down for a second, they will turn on. Ooh, that got warm quick. Oh, that's cool. I kind of feel it more on the back of my hand, all the way down the fingers though, that's cool. Uh, down the thumb too. Not so much on the inside though. And not so much on the tips. The palm, not really getting warm either. But I guess if you're doing something where you can hold your hand like that, that would be good. You got the little Velcro strap here to tighten these down some. And we have a little draw cord here that we can pull this here all tight one thing though if you pull this too tight you're gonna start losing circulation in here so uh, maybe loosen it up just a little bit that was tight got a little tingly when you first turn them on it will go to its highest level which on here says level one that's the red then you can click it it will go to purple, which is level two. Step down a little bit. Then hit it again. It will go down to green, which is level three. And then white, which is level four. That is the coolest setting. Hit it again, you will go back to red. To turn it off, just hold this button down and it will turn off. And it gets cool pretty quick. Already, back to room temperature. I took a screenshot of this page because there's a lot of information here to look at. According to this, each level tries to keep the temperature at its desired temperature. So for red, it's 140 degrees, purple's 131, green's 122, white is 113. And depending on how cold it is outside, will be how long it will be able to keep it at that power. So if it's like 32 to 60 degrees outside on red, these will last for three to four hours. But if it is 14 degrees all the way down to negative 15 degrees, then it will only last for one or two hours. Now, if you take it all the way down to white, which tries to keep it at 113 degrees, then from 32 to 59 degrees it will last for five to six hours and from 14 all the way down to negative 15 it'll last for two to three hours so basically the harder it has to work the less time those batteries will last the output of this charger is 8.4 volts 2.0 amps and 16.8 watts each glove is powered by this 3000 milliamp hour 7.6 volt lithium ion battery. The power cord comes with two little adapters and you just plug one into each battery. When the batteries are charging, the plug will be red and when it's done charging, the plug will turn green. The index finger tip on these gloves has that little cloth on there so you can Swipe through some of your stuff on your phone, but texting is going to be poke, 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 poke. And you're probably going to miss a little bit. But you can still swap through some apps. Scroll up, scroll down. 
and probably answer or end a call. The palm and the inside of the thumb of the gloves are covered in lambskin leather. I guess that's just to make them more durable when you're gripping something. When they're on you, you don't really feel all that much weight, just kind of like regular ski gloves. These probably would be good for, say, skiing, grabbing poles, uh, maybe riding a motorcycle, shoveling snow, something like that. For me, I'm going to keep these in the truck, and if uh, I need to clear off some snow off of the vehicle, then I will put these on, plug those batteries in, and have more nice warm hands. But winter is coming, and a lot of people are using these electric vehicles now, and there's a chance you might get stuck in the snow somewhere. So having a pair of these sitting in the back might be a good idea. If I could change anything, it would be the charging system. I would like this to be like USB-C charging, and it would be awesome if you didn't have to take the batteries out, maybe have like a plug right here, USB charging plug here, have two separate cables, and that way you could wear them and still be charging them at the same time. Maybe with a bigger battery pack or a vehicle or something like that. That would be awesome. But still, a couple, three hours of heated hands. That's kind of nice. Well, that's all I have for this video. Bang around that bell icon if you want to be notified when new videos come out. Call us on the hotline if you have comments or questions and want to be featured in an upcoming video. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Check us out on the website and we'll see you guys on the next one.